Hey everyone, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset, erase, and delete everything on your iPhone 6s or the 6s Plus on the latest iOS version. Now, this is something you want to do if you're looking to sell, give away, or trade in your iPhone 6s, 6s Plus. So let's get started. So in order to do that, first thing you're going to do is go into your setting on your iPhone. Now from your setting, even if you consider doing this, I recommend is if you want to keep a copy of your data, like photos, videos, apps, you want to do iCloud backup. So simply go ahead and want to back up your data by going into your app YD, click on iCloud, and then there should be an option for iCloud backup, and you can click on it and click on backup now. You want to be connected to Wi-Fi or have a good strong cellular data to do a backup. This way, if you ever want to get your data back, you can restore it on another iPhone or if you haven't done it yet I recommend first restoring it to another iPad before you even do this back uh, this factory reset because once we do this it will delete everything on your phone so once you're ready simply go into your settings again Apple ID you're gonna scroll down a little bit further you're gonna sign out of your Apple account on this device so go ahead and enter your Apple ID password so you can turn it off and uh, and then unlink your Find My Account. So I'm going to enter my Apple ID password. Now, once you enter your Apple ID password, simply click on that Turn Off option here, and it will sign your account out. And then if you want to keep a copy of any of this data on your iCloud, just simply select that. If not, you can just simply click on Sign Out. And then if you want to you know, confirm, sign out, basically this will remove our account off of it so that the next person can create their own account or sign into their own account without us having any of our data linked with our iCloud account. So here, just wait for it to completely sign you out and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, once you have done that, as you can see, it should say sign in to your iPhone, which we don't need to. You're gonna go into the general section this time and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone and click on that the option we want to do is erase all content and settings and once we do that it's going to say erase this iPhone and it's going to tell you what's going to be erased basically everything that is uh, that you installed if you had apps if you took photos videos will get erased on this phone back to factory settings we're going to hit continue and then it will ask you to confirm one more time and we're going to hit erase and it will begin the deletion process which could take a few minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. It depends on how much data you had. Generally, it won't take too long. One thing I highly recommend is, is during this process, you don't want your iPhone to die. So make sure your phone has at least 50% or more charge. If not, always connect it to a charger during this process. You want to see this process through until you can get to the main screen when you initially set it up, which might be on the latest version is a hello screen or the welcome screen. So we wanna go ahead and see that it goes back to that screen. So here it'll flash the Apple logo a few times, which is fine. And then the loading bar will also flash a few times. But the way to know that it successfully has erased and wiped out the phone is once we get to that welcome screen or the hello screen, which you have seen when you initially first set up your phone. So we're gonna wait it out in real time just to show you how long this process takes I'm not going to edit any of this out just so you can see the how process takes and then you can skip forward if you want to see what the end result will look like to see what a successful uh, factory reset looks like so here we're going to wait wait it out here for a little bit and while it's doing this process if you haven't had the chance to hit that like and subscribe button please do consider it to support our channel as you try to make some helpful tutorials and videos like this as well and a lot of content around Apple and other iOS devices as well. So we're gonna wait here. Let's see if we can get this to complete any moment. Sometimes it might seem like it's slow then all of a sudden it just completes. So we just have to be a little bit patient with that. I think we're getting very close here, so let's see how long it takes. 
and I believe now it should be done right now as you can see the loading bar went away so let's see if we're right here and this is the screen I mentioned that hello screen and when I press on it it will get me to select my language and country and region just like when you initially first set up a new phone so that means this has been successfully factory reset and I hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button again for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.